Tamika Petri Escael of Tommy Car Design and welcome to my first tutorial and today um, I've been really excited and anxious to do this tutorial um, because I want to show this one is I'm going to be creating a birthday card for a dear friend of mine um, whose birthday brunch is later today and I'm going to use blank note cards to do it and I think that's a fabulous way if you're not into making you know crafts or scrapbooking or anything like that make use of what you have at home and use those blank note cards instead of just writing um, a script or something like that do something a little funky or something a little different so I'm going to show you the box cards that I have um, so I collect a lot of blank note cards that's just one of the things that I do and um, this one comes 16 in a box. I usually, when I find them on sale for $1.50 or 99 cents or something like that, um, I'll buy them just so I can have for personal use. And we're going to use that today. Um, I do want to show you one of the things I found. I was so excited when I got these because you can't really tell. Even on the back of the box, let me make sure I get it right for you. Even though it shows like the, the different things, so... Maybe I don't have to show it to you. Look, see the envelope on um, over here on this side, and then all the different types of cards. So the one that I'm going to be using is this bottom one right here. So let me put these back since I didn't have to show that to you. Okay. So see, here's the card that I'm using. It's empty so we're gonna fill all this empty space with crafts alrighty and then with the materials that we're gonna use I have this wooden piece of whatever it is <laughs> decorative thing that I purchased just to have an in inventory um, figure I could use it one day so we're gonna use this right I have some felt paper now, I've already pre-taped it with photo tape, um, but it's it's fabric. It's like a, a felt fabric. So we're going to use that. I have just blank uh, cardstock. I love working with cardstock. So we're going to use that. I also um, pre-taped it, right? So this is the photo tape by Scotch. The photo tape that I use for the felt and the reason why I use this instead of um, my double-sided roller is because the felt when you use this it the material rubs off with it or the fabric the felt rolls off with it so we don't use this one okay and I'll probably use this too okay now like I said I pre-cut out the backing so I'll just show you how it's going to look. I'm going to have this here. This is going to go here on the bottom part of the card. And then the other thing that I did is I pre-did a typed message on the computer. And I measured it according to size. And we're going to cut that out in a minute. So I didn't pre-cut. Um, we'll do that in a minute. Now here's the thing. Um, or I'll tell you that when we get to it. <laughs> so first thing is first. I don't know if you can see, but at the top of this right here is kind of like, uh, you know, loose. If you will, the other sides, I cut even in the bottom. Now, it's not going to be exactly even on a card, and I'll tell you why later. But I always like to start with this one at the top to add a sense of something. So I'm going to just lay this down. Let me get it right. Okay, I'm starting with the top. So I started with the top there, right? And then next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just fold it like this, make sure all the tape got on there neatly. And it's a little off, so I'm gonna kind of try to peel it off a little bit. Right? Okay. So, let me use my tape again. I'm just going to go over to 
some more tape. So one of the things I love about this is it's okay if you mess up because, um, or if you go outside the lines, because again, each one has its own uniqueness, right? So there we go. All right. So here's, let me show you something that I would do if, um, so I don't know if you can see it's kind of puffing out here. That's okay, but in the future, I would probably put some tape in the middle here just to tie it down. So now we have this folded, you can probably see better here. There's some sticking out right here. So what I'm going to do with my paper cutter, I'm just going to cut out those ends. So it's a little bit even. Okay. Again, doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to look like you put some love into it and you were creative with it, right? Now, <clears throat> next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out my messaging here. Now, something that you can do after you put your backing on, you can cut out some white paper. Sorry, I was pushing my glasses up. You can put a, um, cut out a square of white paper to write on if you want to do a handwritten message. So, and usually I just like to cut a little bit of um, extra white border. Let me do this quickly so we don't have that airspace. Maybe I can put some information up here for you and instead space time. This is my first tutorial, so thanks again for tuning in and bearing with me. We will perfect this and get better at, at this as we continue. So I cut out that message. And you remember my uh, pre-cut card here? It's the top, the bottom. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to center that here. Like such. And then I'm going to put my wording right on it after we tape it. <laughs> so I'm going to use my roller. that. All right, looks nice, doesn't it? Now, this wooden piece, here's what we're going to do with that. And what I did, um, I'm going to put a happy birthday sign. And I used the Avery rectangular labels, the glossy clear and print it on it, and we print it happy birthday. So I'm gonna just peel that off and put it on here so it'll be the happy birthday sign. Okay, so we'll get that off. not this hard to get off. You know what it is? I grew some nails. My nails grew out a little bit. I don't work well with nails. <laughs> I do too much with my hands. <laughs> okay, so I peeled it off. I'm going to just put it on here right there. I'm going to take the edges of my scissors to smooth it out a little bit. You can also use your hands to glide it. And what I'm doing is I'm just gliding the, the end so that it's in there and it looks like it's part of the board. Happy birthday sign. I'm going to attach it at the top here. Okay. 
And for this, I'm going to use my thing right here. Just going to cut a little length. Make sure it's on. Happy birthday. So we took a blank note card and turned it into something a bit more fabulous. Now remember I told you that my friend likes bling bling. So what I'm thinking of doing here maybe we'll add some bling bling to her happy birthday sign. Cute, right? So you can make you a really nice <clears throat> something and you can use whatever you have, whatever you want that you have at home. Cardstock paper, um, regular paper, note paper, like from a notebook is good too. And do some writing, cutting, glue it on, um, and give your friend, family something special. So I hope you enjoyed my first tutorial from Tommy Carr Design. Have a great day. Peace and blessings.